going on, y'all? It's your boy Perplex84. You know, I'm back at it again, represent Cerebral Cortex Reviews, y'all. Look, I miss y'all. How y'all been feeling? How y'all doing? Listen, this episode right now, we're talking about Nintendo a lot. Done talking about Nintendo, especially after this recent news we just got. Let's talk about Sony. Let's talk about Sony. But before we do that, real quick, I want to say something real quick to Nintendo. You better have a powerful system because you won't get third party support otherwise. Speaking of third party support, Sony's doing it big. Did you guys see the recent news? The recent news Dragon Quest 11 coming out on the 3DS. They didn't even say the Switch, but more so the PS4. Imagine that. That game looked like Breath of the Wild. It looks amazing. I'm gonna show you a clip after this video, but man, I'm telling you. On another note, in addition to that, I got some sources right here. Sony got all kind of JRPGs coming out. Let me set the record straight. If you're a gamer and you don't like JRPGs, something's wrong with you. JRPGs is the most epic games you can ever play. The storylines are epic. The character relations are epic. The gameplay is epic. I mean, it just grabs you and embraces you into the game and gonna give you a journey that you've never had before. If you never played a JRPG, Japanese RPG, play it. Man, listen, they got Tales of Berseria coming out for the PS4. Sony's doing it. They have another Final Fantasy game coming out. It's going to be a 12. It's going to be Zodiac Age. That's coming out. They got Death Stranding coming out on the PS4. Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out on the PS4. World of Final Fantasy is already out. Earth's Dawn is already out. They got Tales of Zestaria. They have uh, Star Ocean that just came out. That was a nice little hit. They have Republic coming out. Well, that's already out. They have uh, Knights of Azor. Divinity. They have an abundance of JRPGs coming out on the PS4 and already out. Sony is giving the people what they want and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Back to Nintendo. That Switch ain't powerful. If that Switch ain't popping, Woo, man, I'm, I'm gonna walk around the city like this. Oh, what you mean, brother? Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how crazy I'm gonna be. If Nintendo don't come out with a powerful concept, they don't come out with a powerful console entirely. We don't have to settle for less. It's 2017 now. We deserve the best, especially from one of the top gaming manufacturing companies in the world. Probably number one. You know, so listen. Get the third party support, Nintendo. I'm talking to you, Nintendo. Get the third party support, and you do that by having a powerful console. Developers don't have to put up with that crap. They can go somewhere else. They can go to Microsoft and go to Sony. You see what Sony is doing. Anyway, still love you, Nintendo. More importantly, more importantly, I still love you guys for subscribing and showing me some love and all the support. It's perplexed. And let me leave you with this clip. guys that was Dragon Quest 11 coming out on the PS4 might be in 4k yet to be seen but all those games I mentioned earlier Sony is pushing those out next year so man that's gonna be competition direct competition 
to freaking um Zelda the Breath of the Wild. Nintendo better step the game up, man, because Sony is coming. Big ups to Sony. They always gave the people what they wanted. Cheap prices, high quality products, and just great gaming support. Support Perplexity 4. I'm gonna go ahead and jam out to my boy DJ Sonic Free. Love you guys. Mom.